Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello, news fans. I'm AP Ticker, here with Scrapple News, and from high atop the Scrapple News Towers in downtown Philadelphia, IA, I welcome you. A man slaps a cop, then gets his ass beat. A meningitis outbreak may be sweeping the nation. The election is getting closer, the polls are getting tighter, and our bowels are getting looser. But the big, 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 big story is Pennsylvania mourns the loss of its longest-serving senator, Arlen Specter. If you poke around a little on the internets, you could find thousands of stories about him infuriating his fellow politicians and presidents with his caustic wit and going against his own party in crucial votes. He came to fame for being assistant counsel for the Warren Commission, investigating the assassination of President Kennedy, and he co-authored the single bullet theory, which suggests the wounds to Kennedy and to Texas Governor John Connolly were caused by the same bullet. This was a crucial assertion for the Warren Commission, since if the two had been wounded by separate bullets within such a short time frame, that would have demonstrated the presence of a second assassin and therefore a conspiracy. Perhaps now with Mr. Spector's death, we may finally learn the truth about who killed JFK. My money's on the mob. Spearheaded by Sam Giancana, or Giancana, or Carlos Marcello, who lost all their offshore casinos due to the beard taking over Cuba and that Jack waffling over the Bay of Pigs. And here it is, your moment is in. How old are you? Uh, I forget. I, for <laughs> but I, looked, said, I, looked at, I looked at my birth certificate recently, John, and I said to myself, why let a little thing like this bother me? It happened so long ago. <laughs> Extreme sports athlete Felix Baumgartner completed a 24-mile skydive Sunday, wrapping up a five-year effort to shatter a world record set 52 years ago. He jumped out of his balloon capsule from roughly 128,000 feet, falling towards the earth. And he lived. Wow, I mean, big fucking deal, really. That's really extreme. <laughs> if Felix Baumgartner wants to really be extreme, try walking in my shoes, buddy. Try raising five screaming kids and live with a wife who hates you on my shitty salary, pal. Try living my life without wanting to drive off the goddamn Ben Franklin Bridge. Yeah, I'll show you extreme. <laughs> Holy shit, I need a drink. In Pico Rivero, California, Walmart employees strike to protest treatment and working conditions. The average hourly wage of a Walmart sales associate is $8.81, about a buck and a half more than the federal minimum wage and well below living wage standards. According to the Scrapple Bureau of Arbitrary Facts and Statistics, if the Walton family just takes a 10% pay cut in future income, which is billions and billions, they could pay their workers an average of $20 per hour and alleviate a good percentage of the nation's working poor from the icy grip of poverty. All the women being Walmart, so put the tree, 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 come I'm on! on. I'm on. It's getting dangerous to be poor in this country. It always was. Till next time, folks, I'm A.P. Ticker, and I woke up on the right side of the wrong bed again. And let me tell you, when I was standing there um, on top of the world, you become so humble, you do not think about breaking records anymore, you do not think about um, gaining scientific data. The only thing that you want is you want to come back alive, you know, because you do not want to die in front of your parents, your girlfriend, and all these people watching this.